In this class, let us discuss about uh, voltage multipliers in the diode circuits topic. Voltage multiplier is a diode circuit which will give output as a 2 times of maximum voltage or 3 times of maximum voltage or 4 times. So, like it will call the voltage doubler, voltage uh, tripler, voltage quadrupler and, and all. So, here let us discuss about voltage doubler circuit first. In the voltage doubler circuit, we will have two diodes. Let us take this is the diode D1 as well as this is diode D2 and two capacitors C1 and C2. Now, here the output will take across the C2 and this output will be two times of the input peak voltage. Let us take Vs is a sinusoidal voltage. I am taking a sinusoidal voltage here. So, here, so this is 0 to pi as well as this is from 2 pi. It will continue like this. This is omega t and let us take this is Vm maximum peak voltage sin omega t. So, now here if you observe the circuit carefully, the capacitor will always charge to the peak value whatever we are applying. So, here in this circuit, if you consider the according to the positions of diode, so diode D1 will conduct during the positive half because here the positive side is connected to the voltage source. So, here this uh, signal source, we are applying positive signal here. So, then, then diode D1 will conduct. So, when you consider the positive half during the positive half from 0 to pi, so during positive half, diode D1 will conduct. When diode D1 is conducting, so this equivalent circuit we can draw like this because this is conducting, this is C1 and this is open I am taking. So, here the C1 will charge to the maximum value of the input. So, here when you take this loop equation, let us take this is the Vc1 voltage. So, we can write it as Vs, when you write the equation, Vs minus Vc1 is equal to 0. From this, Vc1 will be charged to the Vs maximum at the time. So, normally in the positive half, when you take the positive half, this positive peak will be plus Vm. So, this voltage will get at this point. So, plus Vm, it will be charged. That is the value of Vc1 at this point. Now, during the negative half, when it comes to negative half, already this capacity charged to, this is charged up to plus Vm here. Now, when you have plus Vm, observe this negative potential is connected to the diode here. So, obviously D1 will be in the reverse bias condition for the next cycles. Only D2 will be forward biased. So, in the negative half, when you consider the negative half, the first negative half, then D2 will get forward biased. So, during the region pi to 2 pi. So, when the when the during the negative first half for ne, first negative half, then diode D2 will be in on condition. So, here D2 will be in on condition as well as D1 will be off condition open circuit. So, already this is Vs we have and here this is a capacitor voltage Vm we are having here. So, when you take a loop equation like this in this case, so this is normally uh, when you take uh, this is uh, I am taking this Vs as in the negative half this Vs is minus Vm because negative peak we are going to get here. So, minus Vm we have to consider as Vs to this value the capacitor will charge and here this is plus Vm that is because of this one and if you take this voltage as Vc2, so here uh, Vs plus uh, this is minus Vm and again minus Vc2 equal to 0. So, here Vc2 is equal to Vs minus Vm, but when it comes to Vs here this is the during the negative half, during the negative half you are considering, so this Vs will be minus Vm. So, when you consider this Vs, we have to consider the peak value at this point. So, this will be minus Vm again minus Vm, this voltage will be equal to minus 2 Vm. So, the voltage across this capacitor will be minus 2 Vm, this is the voltage. So, here if you observe this voltage, this voltage is minus 2 Vm. So, this is 2 times of the input voltage, input peak voltage. So, this output we take it as my voltage doubler circuit, this is the voltage doubler circuit.